Hello and welcome. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2018 LEAP Commencement Ceremony. My name is Mr. Gore. I'm a social studies here at LEAP, social studies teacher here at LEAP, and it's my pleasure to be your master of ceremonies for this evening's commencement ceremonies. At this time, even though I know you just sat down, graduates, I would like you to stand up and come to the stage. This year we're starting, I hope, a new tradition at LEAP to have at least some, but in this case, all of our graduates help us with the singing of the national anthem. So graduates, please come up to help us sing the Star Spangled Banner. While the graduates are coming up, I'd like everyone in the audience to take this opportunity to make sure that your phones are silenced. Keep them out for pictures, but we would like to cut down on any extra noise or sound interruptions. Thank you. Please stand for the national anthem. The flag is to your right as you face the stage. Thank you, and thank you, graduates. I would also like to thank two staff members, Mr. Alex Barnett and Mr. Joe Baumgart, and also LEAP student musicians for helping us with the music this evening. It is my pleasure now to welcome Ms. Rose Santos to the podium. Ms. Santos is the principal of Leap High School. She will be addressing this year's graduating class. Welcome, welcome everybody to Leap's 2018 graduating commencement ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, students, you did it. You accomplished one of the major milestones of your educational lives high school graduation. This is a major step in your journey in a new country, a step that should be recognized for its, its intense significance. It is an act not only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. You all worked hard to get to this day, and your work did not go to waste. A high school diploma is a wonderful tool in this world, one that opens new doors of opportunity and is a symbol of your ability to reach goals. But graduation is not an end in itself. It is instead a part of a larger journey of life, 
Whatever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere. As LEAP students know, life is a journey and all accomplishments you achieve during its course should be taken as starting points for further achievements. Your graduation should serve as a launching point, projecting you towards new choices for the future. Work, family, and further learning will all be a part of the future, built on what you have accomplished here at LEAP. To make the most out of, so make the most out of each opportunity. Your path to this graduation ceremony has been filled with obstacles to overcome. Your hard work and support from family, friends, and help here at LEAP have brought you here because you believe in yourself. From this day forward, you have another reason to believe in yourself and in this accomplishment to all you have achieved in life so far. Enjoy what you have earned, but remember that you will face new challenges in the future. Believe in yourselves so that you may reach your next goal and the one after that and the one after that. You already have taken the first step by making it into this ceremony today. Now it's time to take the next steps of life's journeys and begin to build your futures. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Ms. Santos. We will now hear greetings from Marnie Shong of the St. Paul Public Schools School Board. Ms. Shong. Good evening, Nyojong Yachong Du, Principal Santos, distinguished guests, loving families, and of course, our phenomenal class of 2018. I am delighted to be here to offer my congratulations to you all, graduates. You are a distinguished group. Your, great, your graduating class comprises of 24 students. 20, 20 of you have a GPA of 3.0 or higher. Our graduates this year came from Thailand, Ethiopia, Laos, Somalia, Kenya, El Salvador, Saudi Arabia, Burma, and, and Nepal. Nine have received a seal of bilingual cer certification. Let's give all of them a hand of applause. <laughs> Congratulations, Leeb's class of 2018. I know that you are excited today because today is your day to celebrate your academic success. You all have worked hard to reach this day through finishing your, all your school courses, challenge yourselves, volunteered, marched, made lifelong friends, and participated in building your school community here at LEAP. Thank you for choosing St. Paul Public Schools to be a part of your journey. As you receive your diploma tonight, you must remember that this is only the beginning of your journey. Your diploma is a key to open the door of much more opportun opportunities that lies ahead of you. Look around the room among your peers who are graduating tonight with you. For some of you, your diploma will take you far into your education. For some of you, your diploma will open the doors of careers. For some of you, you will travel across this globe and help solve wor world problems. For some of you, you will become the leaders that we are waiting for here in our community. For some of you, you will become educators yourself, just like, how the, just like the educators who taught you. You will walk the paths just like your teachers. And for some of you, you will make it big out there. You will become artists, singers, dancers, and one day as president of the, of the United States. No matter what path you, you take, you must never forget where you came from. And as a graduate of St. Paul Public Schools, you carry with you the legacy of your teachers, the coaches, the administrators, counselors, your parents, your neighborhood, and the pride of Leap High School. Just like how you are standing on the shoulders of the giants who came before you, the people who made it possible for you to graduate tonight. You are now a giant for others as a graduate of St. Paul Public Schools. Make yourself proud, dream big, reach for the sky, Give thanks to all those who supported you along the way. Make change. Build a legacy for yourself so that 
Your story could be told for generations to come. Continue learning and give back so that others can follow in your footsteps. Graduates, we are so proud of you to see you across the stage and receive your diploma tonight. You are embarking on your next journey. Make most of it and come back to visit us. As I conclude today, I want to leave you with a quote by Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I hope you never stop learning. Thank you very much and congratulations, class of 2018. It is a leap tradition that one of the graduating seniors address her fellow graduates in this case. This year we will hear from Yomio Gafesu. Yomio, will you please come up for your commencement address to your classmates. Good evening, teachers, graduates, students, staff, and other distinguished guests. I feel honored to be chosen to speak on this stage and to, to represent the class of 2018. Before anything, I want to acknowledge the people who had an impact on me throughout this journey, and I would like to start from my family. I want to thank you for, your all, for always supporting me, understanding me, and believing me. Like every parents in this building, they have migrated to this country for a freedom to provide us a better life, a better education. They work day and night so I could receive what I need in life. Mom, dad, the rest of my family, thank you so much. And all of the parents in this room, your children thank you more than anyone. And your hard work will be paid off by your amazing kids. Next, I would like to thank my teachers. Teachers, you are, you are the agents. We are the product of your hard works. You have guided us, mentored us, helped us in every part of our education. My, my fellow graduates and I admire you, respect you, and thank you for everything you have done for us. And when I look back on my life, I remember coming to the school three years ago I was completely a different, a different person, very shy, afraid of speaking up or trying new things. I never believed when someone told me I, was, I could learn so much and I'm capable of learning English or going to college. But through time, there were people who surrounded me, pushed me to get out of my comfort zone, try, to, try new things, and challenge myself to gain my confidence. This doesn't only apply to me, it applies to every graduate, every student in the school. Because of them, we have grown so much since we started. Because of these people, we are inspired to do good, to make change, and on issues that has an impact on us. For me, those people are my teachers, my after school program, my wildlife mentors, my counselors, my friends, and my families. Once again, thank you. And graduates, we're here today to celebrate our success, our achievement, and our hard work. This wasn't an easy accomplishment. Regardless of our limited English, our new experience in this new country, and all of the challenges, we did it. And when we arrived to this country, most of us knew zero English. We had to learn all of that, new culture, new aspect of life completely. But none of the None of those challenges discouraged us. We always have been determined, purposeful, and committed, and this helped us to be on this stage today. We should be proud of ourselves, very proud. Now we're heading to a new journey, a new adventure, new challenges. Throughout everything, we will be facing many obstacles, but we always have to remember that nothing great will be achieved easily. So when something feels hard, we have to remember it will get better. Be hopeful and uh, do what makes you happy. Always choose to move forward. 
Be courageous, passionate, and committed. Never let anything stop you from achieving your dream goals because you all are amazing. And I want to conclude my speech with this quote. Success in life comes when you refuse to give up. With the strong goals that are obstacles, failures, lose, of, lose only acts as a motivation. So I never give up. Congratulations to us, class of 2018. Thank you. Thank you, Yumio. It's also a tradition for a staff member to be chosen to address the class. And a colleague of mine for many years who is patient all the way up to now when I've changed the order in the program, so my apologies, uh, buying a little extra time just to be able to sit next to you up here on the stage. Please welcome Dr. Amy Hewitt Olatunde as this year's staff member speaking to the class of 2018. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. We'll try this again. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is a great day. So I wanted to welcome distinguished guests and staff, families, of course, friends of the graduates, and most importantly, who are we all here for tonight? The students, the graduates. So I think back, can everyone hear me okay? Yes? Okay. I think back almost 20 years ago to 1999. Most of you were babies then or not even born. And I was finishing up my teaching license at Hamlin University and I just needed to complete my student teaching. I found myself at this small school in downtown St. Paul called Leap High School. It was a new school, only about four or five years old at the time. I was nervous, I was unsure about myself, and I didn't know if I would be doing a good job or not. I did not have fluency as I stepped into this new narrative, this new story. Fast forward two months on my last week at LEAP. Dr. Jeff Dufresne, the creator of LEAP High School, came to me in my last week of student teaching and he said, you know, I need more time to be principal and I'm teaching way too many classes. Maybe you could teach some of my classes for me. And I think you need to buy some food and you need to pay your rent, right? And I said, yeah, sure, yeah, I need to pay rent and I, I need to buy groceries. But I'm not sure that's exactly why he hired me. So to make a long story short, what Dr. Jeff Dufresne saw in that 24-year-old student teacher was something that I could not see at the time. He saw a young woman with potential, with drive, with passion, and with such a strong love for English learners that it seemed only fitting to hire me on at LEAP. Almost 20 years later today, I stand before you now as an example of how my life has changed based on what a person saw in me so long ago. I will forever be grateful to him. I tell you this story because he changed my life and he led me indirectly to you today. Throughout your lives, you will meet people like him who influence and change your lives. And you will be one who influences and changes other people's lives by virtue of who you are and by virtue of your story. A great Nigerian author, Achimamandi Ngozi Adichie, speaks of the danger of a single story. And the story goes something like this. If we create a story about a person or a group of people based off what we think or who we think they are, rather than who they really are, we create a single story, one story, a story that paralyzes and steals the voice of another. The story of a person's life is for them to tell and no one else's. And as I have taught you, and more importantly, as I have learned from you over these past couple of years, I am reminded of a journal that I've assigned many of you. The journal is entitled Hero. How would you define the word hero? When we think of the word hero, we are often led to believe that it is a person in a military uniform that goes to risk his or her life for the freedom of others. It is a person millions of people know, is famous, and is highly respected by many. Many think of a leader a country, of a country, a singer, or an actor. Heroes almost seem untouchable. I'm not sure if we often realize that heroes walk amongst us every single day, and they change people's lives. The heroes I see have crossed an ocean, they've ridden on top of a train, in the back of a truck, swim across a river, hungry in darkness, with or without family, nervous, excited, unsure, to come to a country where a language, the food, the customs, the rules, the religion, the norms are very different from where they came from. 
The heroes I see work hard every single day and understand the sacrifice it took to get to this country. The heroes I see diversify and rich contribute to and allow this nation to be a better place. In each of these heroes, there is a light that is so bright that it blinds. It is a light that may still be dim or invisible to that person, but I see it more clearly than I see anything else in my life. These heroes are you, all of you. You are here because of your fortitude, your strength, your pers perseverance, and your hope for a future that is designed by you, not by anyone else. My mom instilled this in me, a love for mankind with all of its differences, yet we are all connected. There is a passage written by a man named Garrison Keillor. Who of you know Garrison Keillor in here? A couple of you maybe, maybe not a lot. He wrote this the year I started school at Hamlin University, become a teacher in 1998. Two years ago, I had the great fortune of meeting him, and I told him how these words have been carried with me throughout my years working with immigrants and refugees. I've held on to this passage, and I will too, will for the continue, uh, continuation of my life. And this is the passage. Heroes, all of them, at least they're my heroes, especially the immigrants, especially the refugees. Everyone makes fun of New York City cab drivers who can't speak English, they're heroes. To give up your country is the hardest thing a person can do. To leave the old familiar places and ship out over the edge of the world to America and learn everything over again, different than you learned as a child. Learn the language that you will never be so smart or funny in as your true language. It takes years to start to feel semi-normal. And yet people still come, Russia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Ethiopia, Iran, Haiti, Korea, Cuba, Chile, and they come on behalf of their children, and they come for freedom. Nor for our land, Russia is as beautiful, nor for our culture, they have their own thank you, nor for our system of government, they don't even know about it, may not even agree with it, but for freedom. They are heroes who make an adventure on our behalf, showing by their struggle how precious beyond words freedom is. And if we knew their stories, we could not hold back the tears. The past 20 years of teaching English learners has been a gift. Divine intervention brought me to all of you and you have brought me closer to God. I thank you a thousand times over and I need all of you to know that you are gifted, you are unique, you are intelligent, you are capable leaders and advocates. I know that you have a journey that I bow before, I am humbled by, and I will constantly, constantly advocate for, no matter the consequences. I will never be silent in letting everyone know that I work with heroes. These heroes walk amongst us every day. They are right in front of us, and if we stop to really look, we would all see. And I do. I see all of you for the beautiful human beings you are, and there are millions more people like me who feel the exact same way. I hope that I, that we, all of the teachers and faculty around you have taught you well, and that you use those lessons in the future. The future that walks next to you, not in front of you. You have the power to make awesome changes in the world, so use that power well. Create meaningful, purposeful lives for yourself. Learn how to use that to make an impact and a difference in the lives of others. That will be true success. Be kind, be happy, love, advocate, and know that I loved you before I met you, I love you like crazy today, and that love will continually continue to exponentially grow in the future. Be the change that you want to see, even though you do not have the fluency as you step into this new narrative. So as for you guys, to the graduates, our young leaders, the 24 of you, plus 25 who's somewhere else right now, plus the three that will graduate this summer, congratulations on this tremendous accomplishment. We are indescribably proud of you. Let this day be marked in history as the day when 25 heroes completed another chapter of their narrative written by them and witnessed by us. Gracias, Danuva, Dablu, Mahatsanid, Galatumi, Wachau, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Amy. Next, we will have the presentation of the class of 2018 by Dr. Teresa Battle, who is Assistant Superintendent in the St. Paul Public Schools. Okay. Principal Santos will also assist in the presentation of the class of 2018. Okay, is everyone ready? Because this is the most important part. 
St. Paul Public um, St. Paul Public Schools Board Director Mary Vanderbord, it is my pleasure to present to you the Leap High School um, graduating class of 2018. Could you please stand up? As principal, I affirm that each student who receives a diploma today has met or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as determined by the state of Minnesota um, and St. Paul Public School Board of Education. And now the graduating class of 2018. Please stand. I love this part of the program. It's what we're all here for. I just want to say congratulations before I start. So here we go. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota and by the Board of Education of Independent School District number 625, I hereby confer upon each of you a high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Way to go, everybody. Congratulations. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. It is a leap tradition to have the students say a few words uh, of thank you or in recognition of important parts of their educational experience. They will do so at the microphone at the far end of the stage. Yes, Sean. Reyes.
everybody, especially my family. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Isaac Flores. Day two. Gafesu.
Yahya Ahmed Ibrahim. Abshir Mohammed. Krishna Shankar. Tesfaye Shibeshi. Students who are in attendance, faculty, staff, stage guests, and district representatives. Thank you, student ushers and musicians. It is my pleasure to present to all of you Leap High School's graduating class of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> 